Hello, racer enthusiasts. I already know I'm off to a good start because they actually heard giggles from my staff for the first time ever. Today, we're going to be talking about the Vanish 4-in-1 Eraser. How could it possibly be four racers in one? I don't know. Let's see if I can convince you as I convince myself. So there are kind of like four basic erasers out there. You've got your white vinyl eraser, you've got your pink rubber eraser, you've got your kneaded eraser, and you've got your uh, egg-shaped eraser. This eraser claims to be a little of all-in-one, although I will say it's uh, giving me a hard time understanding how it's shaped like an egg. That being said, let's just see how it works, shall we? That will be the real test. Does it erase? I've got a hard lead pencil, I've got a soft, uh, like, a, like an 8B pencil here, I've got Conte crayon, and then charcoal. I'm trying to simulate the type of pressure I would probably expect most artists to use most of the time for that medium. You might do the opposite, good for you. So, let's see how they erase, shall we? Vanish, 4-in-1 eraser. We'll start with the hard lead Now, do you see this, Will? Do you see the worm? Aye. This is what makes it like a kneaded eraser. Not completely, okay? This is kind of gross, actually. I'm going to take that away. A kneaded eraser is crumbless, okay? And it makes no marks. One of the great things about the Vanish eraser is that the crumbs all really stick together. So it's like a kneaded eraser in the fact that it doesn't make a huge mess, okay? It does have a, a bit of residue to it, but you don't have crumbs everywhere that you're constantly flicking and blowing about. That white vinyl is that ghost-free eraser. This eraser leaves behind no residue, okay? Um, and that's another great thing about this 4-in-1 eraser. Now, a pink rubber eraser, like our pink stroke, is uh, gonna be a little abrasive, so it should be able to pick up uh, a heavier-handed lead. You might see a little bit of remnants left behind, but considering that was an 8B with a pretty heavy hand, I'd say that's pretty good erasing, right, Adam? And then going into our other two here, we'll work here the, the Conte. And then finally the compressed charcoal, which <laughs> is going to leave something behind. And then I guess uh, the fourth in one is that I've taken my perfect rectangle and made it a little bit more egg-shaped. You see what I did there, Will? I didn't tell any of you guys I was going to do that. It's a pretty good tool. It's, uh, it's soft but strong. I'm using an 80-pound uh, sketching paper here. The idea is to be able to erase, uh, put pressure down if you need it, and not damage the paper surface. And uh, for that heavy-handedness, I think I did a pretty good job. The paper surface, at least over the first few rounds, seems just fine. Vanish Form 1 Eraser. Try it out. I'm paid to tell you to say that. Oh, wait, what? How do, you, how do you do that little thing where you're like, and then I'm not a magician.